What's up, guys? I, uh... Yeah, I didn't post yesterday. I took a big loss. And... I don't know, I was just embarrassed at myself. Not even to, like, post it, which I'm probably not gonna do. But, uh... uh just the fact that I chimped. And... Uh, towards the end of the video, like, I was... Whereas yesterday's open, like, I was trying to long this at the open, and I got a nice long, and I sold it, and then I tried to long it again on this reversal setup, and then I got smoked, and then I think I tried to long it again at, like, a double bottom, because now I'm looking for trades, right? Like, I'm not following my system, I'm staring at the P&L, I'm sizing up, I'm martingaling my losses, which is chimp shit bro i this is this is like the last thing i have to fix to significantly improve my trading i'm not gonna say i don't have room to grow in other areas i just think that i just think that that's like 80 percent of what's holding me back now so 55 55 is a big long setup i'm gonna try it 10 points um, man, so I just gotta, I gotta focus, the biggest thing, don't size up after the loss, I see the loss, and I go, oh, okay, like, we're minus 200 bucks, what's the best way to make this back, and it's by taking two contracts, and then when I take two contracts, and I take a loss, now I'm down, like, Order submitted. Order filled. Now I'm down like 600 bucks and I'm like, oh, like this is a good idea to like just use two contracts from now on and then like I'll use three. It's just, it's so degenerate, man. And I gotta, I gotta just, I just gotta not do it. It's really... It's a pretty simple fix, it's just don't do it. SPX is coming into this nice long setup. I'm hoping it doesn't stop me out first, but it's okay if it does. I'm not gonna just take it again at the exact same spot with more size. SPX right into this uh, this little dip, long gap set up here. <clears throat> 10 point stop on NQ, it's pretty good. There's not much to get in the way here. It's a pretty nice setup, if I'm being honest. You know what I mean? Like, trading's, trading's fucking hard, man. And there's so many things you have to get right. And I think... <clears throat> I get a decent amount of them right now. There's just like one glaringly obvious thing that's holding me back, and it's my risk management, specifically my losses and how I handle them. And and um, specifically in execution what I do after I take losses, and it's I size up, I jump back in, and uh, inevitably I take the loss on those, and sometimes I don't, but like, you're obviously going to. Stop filled. And um, after that, you just have to learn how to chill out and get back in on the next best setup. Because it's, it's, I don't know. It's pretty obvious to me what I'm doing wrong. So anyways, let's uh let's find uh let's find a tr another trade here, I guess. That was a pretty good trade. There was no reason to sell it. Um up only 10 points. But that's all right. Just stay relaxed, right? That's all you gotta do. It's pretty easy. It's 
307 has a four hour long. This 55 long could still be good. I just need more price action. And now we're under it. I've already gotten stopped out. I'm not going to jump back in without a setup, obviously. And when I do, I'm not going to have freaking two contracts. Because right now, this is a short. But we're not short on an hourly level, so I don't like it. Fifteen minutes got a nice long in this area. Thirty minute has a nice long at fifty five as well. I got stopped out. That's fine. I'm not gonna put two contracts in here like I always do. And um, looks like we actually might get this trade. I gotta wait for this candle to close. There's no rush at all. It could rip here without me, and that's fine. I followed my plan. I followed my risk. It's all good. Even a, a 15 point stop <clears throat> would not have saved me there. We have to close above 55, though. 55.50. Now nah, we didn't. So there's no setup. There's no setup yet. It's alright, I can wait. Right now, that's technically a short setup off of this five minute. Forty-five. There's a long setup. I'm just gonna wait because we could get a nice trade for 30, 40 points. <sighs> and I just gotta wait. Lower low, lower high, You can, can you see that? Lower highs, lower lows. This could just be the rewind, like big short, all the way back down into lows. That could easily happen. So I'm not too quick to get any trade in either direction right now. Other than that one long, that was a good long. <laughs> Dang, that would have been a decent little short there. Remember, I'm looking to get long though. SPX opened above this gap. We are likely going to move up into the gap fill. Keep up this momentum. So I am only looking for long setups. <clears throat> we might set one up here, we might not.
dang, this thing is not doing well. O seven seventy five. Great long setup. Order submitted. So without a reversal setup, which it doesn't look like it's going to form, I need price to just plummet into a good level for me to take it. And it needs to be a really good fill. Otherwise, I don't want to catch the knife. This could be just the move downwards, like I was saying. <clears throat> Got some time left in this candle. Almost got filled there. That might be the... Is it the bottom? I don't know. 20 seconds till this candle opens. Order filled. Alright, got filled there. Big four hour setup. Big hourly setup. Looking for a bounce back to 36. SPX into 97, 94. Oof, look at that. Immediately st almost stopped out. That was really close. All right, so that shows that this level's fairly important. We're getting a little little bounce off of it. Now we'll see if those buyers come in, if short starts covering, and uh, if we get back up to like 30. Right here. Order submitted. Try not to make any decisions on on P and L, right? Because if I take it now, I'll be break even. But that's trading the P and L. I don't think that's a very good way to trade. I want to try to let this work. We're taking a big time frame setup. I'm only up ten points. I do see room for the bounce. The risk is 10 points. My reward's got to be usually at least 2 to 1. So we'll just wait. <clears throat> this is what I like to see at the start of a trade. So I do want to give it time to work. Hell, we can make it all the way back up to where we opened, but I don't know if that's going to happen. There's no big signs of reversal. That, so the 15 is about to close. And what do I see on the 15? Well, there's room all the way back up to 56 on the 15. So no reason to sell it yet. Other than P&L. If you want to look at your P&L, there's lots of reasons to sell it. But that's not how you're supposed to trade. Oh, 
watch it come down and stop me out again. That would be so unfortunate. It'd be kind of frustrating, but I don't know, dude. That's just how it is. a decent spot for it to bounce we might actually just be setting up another short setup though on the five minute for continuation downwards looks like that's what's gonna happen here order cancelled yep and there's the stop out we are still headed lower damn look at it that's a hardcore move lower too that's not just like a little move. So let's go see where it could reverse. 244.75 is a good one. Till then, it's just short. Weekly shows a short off of, uh, well, not anymore, but it did. Off the bottom of that candle there, 483, and we got to 497. 483, 497. Fifteen minutes, still nothing. It's still so heavy, holy crap. Short setup at 08. Looking decent. Uh, I'd rather take it up here. To be honest, 36. Just gonna give it another couple minutes here and um, see if I grab anything. That might be it. Uh, I'm gonna have one more trade, and if I lose one more trade, then that's that's it. I'm just not triggered at all. I'm just waiting for a good setup. <clears throat> I'm 
there was two really good short setups there at the open, I guess. Popped into it. Made a new low. The next candle. Popped into it. Made a new low. Next candle didn't even get to the low of this candle. Made a new low. This is the first green in a while I've seen on a candle. Like, I'd like to get short, I just... Don't have an entry now. Is a long at 71 or a short at 08? <clears throat> Whichever one hits first. Order submitted. That just looks like consolidation flag for a new low. So I think the long, yeah, the long's going to hit first, probably. Yeah, that makes sense. Order filled. There it is. This is the last trade. If I get stopped out, then that's that. I think we could move back up to 10. 310. Potentially. Get a decent short up in that area. That'd be nice, but... Is it going to work that way? Who knows? Here comes the stop. Here comes the stop. This is just like a relentless, endless fucking train to 200, I guess. We're going to break new lows. We're going to have some crazy selling. Maybe that's what's going to happen. SPX is just dying, dude. That was it. That that pop, that little pop was it. And now we're going to die. We're going to we're going to send it through my stop and just keep failing. It's pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. It'd be nice if we could just get some sort of relief bounce. We're on the long setups. Today was not the time. 
to buy the long, I suppose. There's a reversal. Uh, well, I don't know. The setups are there. These are all valid setups. Bounced off the weekly on SPX. Like, my brain is telling me to take it off right now because of the price action is showing me that we're going lower. So I'm going to see what would happen. I'm going to pretend that I took it off based on discretion. I'm not actually going to. I'm going to let the trade play out, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. This is looking hella long, man. Call me crazy. If we can get back up over 98 on SPX. <clears throat> but look at this. Look how heavy this is. This is like the best long setup that we've got on NQ. And it just, it's just sitting there. It just does not want to bounce at all. Nobody wants to buy this here. The only people buying are the shorts that are covering. New candle opens right now. So we've got a short setup right here. This would be way too low for me to short if I wasn't already short. Okay, so we're going to pop into it, <clears throat> popped into the short, now we're going to fail and go lower, right? And it's going to prove me wrong again that I should have just gotten short again. <clears throat> See how we're, we're, we're kind of hovering, we're thinking about it. We hit the short, we're thinking about going lower now. We're just going to rip all of them a new one, and then we're going to get a good short, and then take that short down. Fifteen minute, that nine is going to be what? Like right here-ish? I don't like shorting the bottom of the range. Like I should have already been short <clears throat> if I if I was going to short. So the fact that I'm not means uh, that I'm just chilling. Just gonna wait. Order submitted. I'm gonna go on my phone for a sec. Wow. I just I want to trade well. I don't want to trade based on the P and L because that means you're not trading well. Like, am I supposed to take it off for ten points? No, that's not why I took ten point stops two times in a row. I take these for the two to one. And if you're too fixated on the P and L, like it just fucks your brain up. Like, you start thinking like, oh, I'll just take the base hits. But then, like, that entry's gone, and the trade works, and you might as well have just held on to it. So, that's sort of the emotions I battle with. I think every trader battles with. The biggest ones are holding winners and not holding, and not holding losers, right? Obviously. And this is the thought process as into why we do that sometimes. Right, so, okay, so this five minute is going to be <clears throat> right in this area. I want to sell this into the next five minute candle for sure. Not quite yet though. Not quite yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not gonna sell this boy yet.
two minutes until the hour closes, right? So the setup is at 71. We're confirming over it. We now have a confirmation candle over it. So now this next candle is tempting to grab another contract and tighten the stop for the same amount of risk. Am I going to do that now, though? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> what I would rather see is it just works. So I'm not allowed to size up. I'm not going to do that, but... I want to see this work in the next five minute candle. If it doesn't, it's probably the end of that trade. Well, it's the end of the trading day if I get stopped out again. It's not about profits. It's capital preservation, trade management. There's no confirmation that this set is actually going to work. Like the time for confirmation was <clears throat> yesterday in that one, two, three, that beautiful reversal setup. Where did that happen? Like right here? Boom. So you're in that trade. It starts working. It closes above on the hourly. Okay. Boom. That's where you add another contract. Like right in here. That's when you can add. You don't add when you're catching the knife. Okay, hour opened. We just gave that up as well. I don't like that. Oh man, I really do like this setup though. See, that wasn't enough to even consider adding another contract. We made it down to 75, the setup's at 71. You can't do that anyways. Even if I wanted to click it, I couldn't. All right, let's see the move. <clears throat> Give me a move to, well, exactly where I've got my order. I think it could go higher. I don't know if it'll stop right there, but that's a good spot to have it. SPX coming up into a key area at 99. Let's see if I can get a little more on this. A little bit more. You see I'm getting a little antsy here. Try I'm trying not to move it too much. I'm just gonna leave it right there. It's a good spot. Order cancelled. Perfect. Nice. So just like that, we go from down two losses, and we have a winner that makes up for those stops. That's how you're supposed to trade. You're not supposed to fucking go all ape shit crazy and like add contracts and do all this crazy stuff. I'm trading counter trend. Well, depending on the time frame, this is counter trend for the day. But in terms of yesterday for SPX, this is up. So. Heck, man. Trading is not easy, and you can't just make up for it by uh, adding a bunch of contracts. So, really happy with that. Maybe I will take another one. Um, I've got a work thing shortly, so if I do, it will be not on stream. But what am I looking for? I'm looking for a good hourly setup now. So... In terms of longs, I'd have to see like a new low. We break above the nine. We close above the nine because the nine will be down here. And then we take off from there. Or a big reversal on the hourly like we had yesterday it was beautiful. Or if we get back up to 13, uh, 15, 360, I would short it there. So that's what's been going on. Decent day of trading. Uh, follow my rules, my stops, everything was on point, I guess, so thanks for watching, peace.